welcome guys once again so in last lecture we have seen you know void return type okay method which is type of void okay so in this lecture we'll see return type okay we'll see return type so last lecture we have seen here so let it be there only okay now i'll create method of return type okay so i'll write again same void so now already we have seen void now i have to see the return type method okay so int int I'll write suppose add add so I'm writing one method okay int add so I'm see I'm creating one method which is return type is what integer now I'm not writing void so if I'm writing integer so if you'll go to this method name it will so it will ask you to okay whether make this method as a void so that it this method will not return anything or you return something so I'll just click here return so I'm returning zero so uh, zero is nothing but integer type right so you can return any number which belongs to integer category any number you can return okay fine so this is one of the method which i have written here okay now i can do some operation here okay i can do some operation okay so let me do so in this method okay i'm not doing anything as of now so this method if i'll call it will just return you know 12 okay that's all if i'll call this method it will not return anything it will just execute the line whatever is there okay if i write here if i write here int int a is equal to 20 okay it is not going to return this a okay but if i write here int b is equal to 20 i'll return b i'll return b so this b will be returned whoever will call this method this method is going to return b okay so let's call so i'll just comment this as of now okay this two i'll comment this so it will not execute this login and login one okay now i'll try to call you know add method okay add method so add again this is non-static method okay static is not there so this is non-static so to call this add method you need to create object because i'm calling from where i'm calling from a static content okay so it is object creation is mandatory so i can call by ref dot add f dot add perfect so i can able to call this right so this will return this method call will return 20 okay but if i'll call this it will not return 20 it will just print whatever will be there that's all but this method since it has a return type it will if you will call this method it is going to return you know 20 or b whatever value will be there for b okay so if you want to see that value okay i'll just take sop statement and you can just call ref dot add okay that's all so if i'll print this so i'll get whatever this method is returning now i'll print that so i'll be able to see so what it will return 20 so now i'll be able to see return value is whatever okay so i'll see so i'll just print return return value is so i'll just print that and i'll get the return value so return value is 20 so see this is one of the point or topic where we have seen return type okay same thing if i want to access directly without creating object i can make it as static also okay so directly i can call this okay no need to create object okay directly i can call like this add right here also i can call directly add perfect it will give the same output okay if i'll make this return type as a different return type like suppose this is integer return type i've given so this time let me give some return different return type like a string okay i'm giving a string so if you'll give a string return type method names will be different always so i'm giving add one now okay so now this method add one method is going to return a string it now you are trying to return what integer it is not allowed so whatever method return type is there same thing you should return or else your compiler is going to throw compile time error okay so this should be string so i can take like you know string 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 name is equal to double quote then i can write name whatever pankaj then i can return that name and what is the name so string type right pankaj i can return it no problem so if i if i'll call add if i'll call add i'll get the output you know if i'll call that name i'll get the output as pankaj so let's see so i'll just call this okay add one sorry add one if i'll call this i'll get the pankaj so i'll get the pankaj perfect okay 
now i can directly you know return also and i can directly return some different thing also no problem at all i can return directly what i can directly return ranjan also no problem so if i'll call this add one so this time what it will return it will return ranjan not name because i am returning ranjan explicitly right so let's run this so i'll get the ranjan okay so that's all about you okay different return types like you know return type so whatever return types you are giving you must have to return explicitly same data type you can't return some different type okay okay and if it is non static you know method you need to create object to call that and if it is a static directly we can call okay so that's all about this very simple you know method definition and method declaration so see you in the next lecture thank you for watching